We must go now to Hillsborough. What looks anyway to be a major incident there. Peter Jones. The teams have just left the field here. The trouble away to our left where there's a packed enclosure of Liverpool supporters. Two and a half minutes after the match started, they really came over the top of the fence. Police are trying desperately hard to hold them back and at the moment it is simple mayhem. The police just said, just go through. We open the gates, just go in. The police, it doesn't matter about the tickets, they just weren't go interested. in. They didn't say who's got tickets and who hasn't. They just opened open the gates and let anybody in. We heard the policeman say, we've opened the gate, there's going to be people killed outside. It was just like a mass relief. Little did we know that when we got under the barrier, the sheer weight of supporters that were, were trying to get in for kickoff just carried you. I should stress, incidentally, it's not so much a question of crowd trouble here, it's just that they were packed in too far too tight, went over the top, people got frightened, they then tried to climb up as they are now into the upper tier, which is very, very dangerous indeed. The crush didn't stop. They were screaming for them to rip the fence down or do something. These two people's arms that were on the floor were just coming up, you know, grasping for life, literally, and uh, you, still, you were still being crushed yourself, but you were trying to haul them up. The situation now seems to be becoming a lot more serious. An ambulance has just come into the stadium and is making its way through a vast crowd of people away to the left. There would seem to be, from where I'm sitting here, dozens of people now lying on the ground and being attended to by police and St John's ambulance. We broke like the advertisement stanchion, you know, we ran it to the back of the goal and we carried the dead bodies out, like, you know, then after I'd done that, I went to the stands and they were saying there was only two dead and that, and it was terrible because Sammy and I walked in and I seen 40 at least dead. I ask you to stay in the stadium, to remain in the stadium, just for a few minutes until we can get rid of all the injured people. As soon as we've got rid of all the injured people safely to the hospitals, you won't be able to do that if you rush out to the ground. We'll let you know and you can leave the stadium in safety. Please, it is a very difficult situation for all concerned. Please don't panic. Try and be calm and we're doing our best for you. There's a young girl in front of me who was pushed so hard against this bloke in front because she was short. She was suffocating in this bloke's shirt in the back. All I saw of her head was her hair, her nose and her eyes. Away to the left, the corner flag. I see for the last 10 minutes a nurse has what I think been giving a kiss of life to one, uh, one young fan who looks in deep distress. Uh, there must be at least another 20 or 30 lying on the ground calling for assistance. When I got outside, I was lying on the floor and there was some fella lying on the floor next to me shaking. And he asked me, could I hold his head? And I was holding his head. The doctors were running backwards and forward to him, shouting, get him an ambulance. And he just looked at me and said, help me. And he died in my arms. 